Here's the back of my house. It's got 0.68 acres. I want to keep the grapevines. What do you think? These are dead pine trees. Pull that out. How do you like it? You like it? I love it. Hey everyone! I have the greatest news, greatest news today. I am finally, finally closing on the house that I've been trying to get since summer. This is amazing guys. This is my first home. These are ready for pickup. So I'm gonna get the keys, uh, rush to the house, do my measurements. Um, it's a little ranch home on a, um, it's like about more than a little bit, a little bit more than a half an acre of land. Um, it's got mature landscaping, mature trees, mature pine trees. I love pine trees. And it's got I believe one or two weeping willows. And then there's also this uh, uh, grapevine. <laughs> I went over there this summer and I was able to um, take some grapes and they were yummy. I'm super excited guys. I finally, I'm finally, finally, finally going to get my house. So stay tuned. Um, um, the house only has one full bath. I want to see how much it costs to do half a bath. Um, and I'm still not sure which should be my master bedroom. Should it be, it's, it's a three bedroom home. And the, there's another bedroom. There's two bedrooms towards the back of the house. So what do you guys take the master bedroom that's in the front, sorry, the bedroom that's in the front or bedroom that's in the back of the house? <laughs> Let me know and I'll include pictures. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys. Um, if you like my videos and you like my channel, please remember to click like and also to subscribe. Um, and for those that have asked about um, getting notified every time I post, um, let's see. I think there's an options button click on that and you'll get notifications all right guys thanks this is cindy with azc productions this is what the kitchen looks like sis so trying to figure out where the fridge goes that's too small of an area. But only one area would want to see the fridge. Okay, but. Okay, I've been slowly moving in, but today I showed up to open the house for a heating and cooling estimate, and uh, I found a horrible surprise. Let me show you. So you can tell we've been moving in. But this is what I found. Hear that? Water. Water. You know, I love this home because it's a little updated. It was built in the 60s. a little bit updated. Um, but... You know, I didn't mind the cabinets. I love the cabinets. Um, I love the retro look. I love the wall oven. Everything. But this is what I came to today. Something to do with the dishwasher. Um, we replaced the pan lumming here. But something to do with the dishwasher. It just broke. And water everywhere. So I went ahead and got an eval. 
and here they are. Now I'm gonna be busier than ever. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I don't know how much damage has been in this water is gonna cause, but I'll probably be MIA again for a while. Why do you leave a dishwasher connected if it's working? It is a foreclosure. Yeah, but they fix everything except this. <laughs> So look. <sighs> so now I'm gonna be busier than ever, guys. That's the kitchen area that's flooded. This is what I've been doing for the past few months. I'm trying to get my little house, guys. I finally got it. But now we can't move in. So, I will <laughs> record the progress and the end results. Um, let's see, the business development specialist from the company that I just called to come out. That's going to be loud for the neighbors. Um, she mentioned that my kitchen cabinets might have to be replaced. I was hoping to keep the retro look. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, come back if you want some updates.